I do just like to point out the different types of projects that we have within Stoplight. Um, and the best way to do that is in this add a project uh, function. So we do have a, a number of different types of projects, one being a Stoplight project. Stoplight projects have the same capabilities as Git projects. We can edit files, we can collaborate, we can update files, maintain, and we can even do different versions or branches within those Stoplight projects but all of the data for the Stoplight projects is stored within Stoplight, within our Stoplight cloud environment. Versus Git projects, Git projects, the same thing. We can collaborate, we can edit um, everything we're about to show after this part, we can, we're going to do in a Git project. Um, we can commit to Git directly, we can uh, pull data from Git, and all of that will be done within uh, our Git project. We do have the ability to add multiple different Git sources, except for uh, not as your DevOps services at this time. Um, um, but uh, we, we can pull from multiple different Git sources and, and, and we can mix and match these projects as well. So we can have Git projects, we can have Stoplight projects, we can have CLI projects, all within my same environment. So in my environment, I'm mostly tied to GitHub. In this case, uh, the organizations I have access to are Stoplight Andrew, Stoplight IO, Etc. So if I switch to my Stoplight Android organization, I can see a number of projects, some of which you've already seen, the documentation project, the design library. Um, but if I connect to, for example, a, a different project demo create here, um, I can just uh, connect to that. Um, Stoplight will automatically install webhooks for me. So this will uh, keep Stoplight up to date if there are any changes to that project from the Git side or from, um, or from the Stoplight side. Um, I could also disable that if I wanted to not have that automatic update as well. And we can create blank projects as well in any of those places as well. So GitHub within that organization. Um, the last type of project I do want to point out, and this might be especially relevant um, if you are, you know, depending on what you're doing with Stoplight or, you know, especially if that integration is not available to you. Um, we do have this uh, concept of CLI projects. <clears throat> Um, and I'll just go ahead and create this uh, CLI project for the demo. And what the CLI project allows me to do is actually push data directly into uh, Stoplight instead of uh, using that Git integration. So if I, basically it gives me a token, uh, auth authorization token and this command to actually push assets directly into uh, Stoplight. So on my local computer here, I have a number of reference files uh, some of which are pet store APIs um, and some other other assets that are contained here. Um, I can just directly push all of those assets into my Stoplight project if I am utilizing these CLI projects. So it is a, is a slightly different approach, um, especially if you're doing code first or if you have a CI CD or if you have Git actions, you can use this command. You know, I ran this manually, but a lot of our customers do utilize this in a CI CD or a Git pipeline. And it's going to go ahead and push all of that into Stoplight where Stoplight will be able to host and render all of that documentation. So I just wanna give you this um, as an example. You can also do branching within this and everything that you can do within all of the other project types. So just as a just as an option to show you there, um, once we do have branches that should show up here and I can switch to different branches depending on what I'm doing. We will also be able to utilize this Git integration as we edit our project. As we come into Stoplight Studio, we will see that we have the ability to select which branch that we are currently editing which may be any of the published or unpublished branches within our workspace. As we make any changes in our environment, we will see we have the option to commit and publish those changes directly into our GitHub environment, where we are presented with a standard Git commit message. We're able to revert or discard any changes that we have made and we can select which branch that we want to commit to, either directly to the branch that I am working on, or I can create a new branch for this commit. If we do select a new branch for this commit, I can just go ahead and create a new V3 branch and push that into GitHub. We see that V3 testing has been committed to GitHub, and from GitHub, we can go ahead and create a pull request where we would leave any applicable comments add any reviewers and create a pull request for this commit. 
Once we're done reviewing that commit, we will go ahead and merge that pull request back into one of our main branches, and then that will automatically be displayed within our stoplight environment.